How's it going guys? So in today's video, we're talking about backpacking for photographers. And basically the only difference between this and normal backpacking is the fact that photographers generally carry quite a bit of extra camera equipment that changes how you pack and the way you want to think about packing just a little bit. So if you're just getting into backpacking, and you're looking for some advice, feel free to stick around. We'll be getting to kind of the generic equipment you want to bring with you when you go backpacking and a little bit later on in the video. But if you are someone that is a photographer and you're trying to figure out how to pack all your survival equipment, basically, well, then this is definitely the video for you. And we're going to have some very helpful tips coming up. So the first thing I want to talk about is how to protect your camera and your lenses. Now, in most cases, I would highly suggest keeping your camera outside of your bag, either on a clip like I have or a strap around your neck. Either way, that way it's always accessible and you don't have to take your heavy backpack off. Now, in most cases, you're going to want to carry either a second lens and some batteries and maybe some other equipment with you. So that's where a pouch like this comes in super handy. Now, this is not the only option. There's a lot of added pouches that come that you can buy on Amazon, whatever. I think this cost me about $30 on Amazon. So I've got two of my spare batteries in there. I've got my syrup, uh, the variable ND filter, the super dark version, and the padded pouch underneath, I've got my wide angle lens. And then in the bottom, I've got my SD cards. Now the other pouch I use for camera equipment is this one. Now again, this one's a little bit special. It was a little bit more expensive. It has this little uh, rain cover on the back so you can basically throw that over so again if it's on your belt you can put a little bit more uh, sensitive stuff in here and in this pouch I basically I keep that fourth battery I was talking about and then on the inside this is where I would normally keep things like uh, chargers uh, my wireless trigger all the little all the little things that I don't kind of want floating around in my bag and that I know I'm not going to use all that often I just want them all kind of in one place now as for other photography gear one of the things you want to bring is probably a headlamp. What these are really good for is lighting a subject, yourself, doing things like that. And that's honestly pretty much it for the photography wise. There's not a whole lot that you need to bring or you want to bring when you're backpacking because when you're backpacking, minimal weight is the best option. You don't want to be the guy carrying an 80 pound rucksack. And that's one of the things you want to watch for when you're packing your camera gear is that you're not overloading yourself because the metal and glass and all that is much heavier than anything else that's going to be going in your backpack so you got really got to watch your weight with the camera gear and tripods and all that stuff so in most cases the fewer lenses accessories all that stuff that you have the better off you're going to be and basically the only thing i'm trying to show you by showing you this gear is that this is kind of the general stuff if you've never been backpacking before or you're just want, trying to get into it this is kind of the stuff you might want to consider bringing so it's nothing, it's not like a to buy list, it's more of a good idea to bring list. So to start us off, I'm gonna talk about kind of your tools. So always with me, I bring a hatchet and it's not, this isn't for like defense or anything like that. It's more so for collecting wood. Also on the strap of my backpack, I carry my Leatherman with me. Now, if you are getting into backpacking and you want kind of one tool for everything, go buy a Leatherman Wave. They are the best thing. As for other equipment, you're probably gonna want a stove. Now the best thing about Jeff Oils is that they're kind of one contained system. Everything fits within here. And the only reason I'm bringing this fuel can is because I don't wanna have to go buy one of the small ones. Other things you're gonna want is probably a camp cup. Uh, kind of all the small stuff that you probably don't want floating on your backpack. I have a nether pouch and a, whatever, a spoon, fork, knife combination thing. So I've got my uh, fire starting stuff, the spot, now, again, a spot is not a necessary thing, but if you're doing a lot of solo stuff, probably your best option that way, if anything goes wrong, you get injured, you break a leg, you get attacked by a bear, I don't know, depending on how lucky you are, you've got the spot to kind of get you out of those extreme situations, so. And then all my first aid medical stuff I keep in this top pouch, but I've got a waterproof first aid kit, some mole skin, some um, light blister kits, stuff like that. Keeping things organized in your bag is extremely important, and that's where pouches like this come in really handy. Now on to shelter. Now there's a lot of options on the market that you can do for shelters. And by far my favorite system to use is tarps. And the major benefit to tarps is that's basically all your structural stuff. It's just uh, four lines on a carabiner. And then this is for whatever bear hangs, carrying wood back to your, your campsite, anything like that. So it's just a little bit of rope on a carabiner. 
And then in this compression sack, I've got my tarp and a ground sheet. And you can see that that is much smaller than a tent would ever be, and much lighter. And yeah, so that is what I do for shelter. Food-wise, I keep everything in this uh, outdoor research uh, extra durable bag. Now for sleeping, I have a minus 10 down sleeping bag. And again, it's not the top of the line, but it's also not a cheap Walmart one. It's kind of that middle of the road, good sleeping bag that is kind of, I don't know, I've used it for a lot, I've used it a lot, I know it works, and I know it'll keep me warm down to minus 10 basically. Now, clothing wise, this is again, something that a lot of people that are new to backpacking will overpack, overdo way too much. So in that compression sack I showed you before, I've got two extra pairs of socks, kind of a lightweight and a heavyweight, and I've also got an extra mid layer. Now for clothes for hanging around camp, I have a flannel shirt. Now this is really good because it's again, it's super lightweight, compacts really small, dries quickly, and is plenty warm. I also have a nice fleece. Those are kind of my warm layers. Then I've also got a Gore-Tex jacket. So the Gore-Tex again, if it rains, if it's windy, I can throw this on and I'm good to go. And that is it for my gear that I'm gonna be bringing with me. So I've got my backpack here all ready to go. Now, as I was saying, I got the Leatherman on the right shoulder. That way it's just kind of my dominant hand. It's super easy to get to. And on the left shoulder, I've got the uh, clip for my camera. So it just kind of slides in there and dangles right there. I forgot to mention in the gear, I also carry a liter Nalgene. In here, I have a three liter platypus. So this is an Arteryx 85 liter backpack. Now you don't need to go 85 liters if you're just kind of going for weekend backpacking trips. And yeah, so on the bottom here, you can see I also have a sleeping mat. Again, that's not really vital equipment to be talking about. So the first thing we want to put into the bag is the sleeping bag. Now, the reason this goes at the very bottom of the backpack is because it is the absolute last thing I'm gonna need in the day. Uh, I'm not gonna touch this till I'm going to bed and my bag is everything, everything else is dealt with. So, because this is the last thing I know I'm gonna use in the day, it goes in first, basically. Uh, a lot of backpacks actually have a specific pouch on the bottom. This one does in fact have a pouch on the bottom. I just don't really like to use it because it's kind of, it wastes space just because it's, it's a fairly compressible sleeping bag and using the extra, I can use the space around it to pack things. So I like to not use that, that pouch at the bottom and open it up. So the next thing I'm gonna put in is this flannel and that's just gonna pat around the sleeping bag, make sure that it's not moving around. And again, because this is just kind of something cozy that I wanna put on when I get to camp, I don't really need it quickly accessible. I've got other gear that I'm gonna be wearing and using during the day that I'm gonna want more accessible than that. So with those two things in there, the bottom is now actually really tightly packed. Uh, both things have filled up that full bottom with my bag and the depth. So that's exactly what you want. You don't want any wasted space in a backpack. Speaking of the shelter, that is our next thing to go in. So again, this has the tarp, the ground sheet, my spare kind of sleeping clothes. So that is gonna go in next because again, I don't need it until I get to camp. So that basically just sits on top of the sleeping bag. So next up, the things I know I'm not gonna be using until I get to camp, the stove. Well, this one actually might get used a little bit on the trail. So again, I wanna make sure it's kind of accessible. So I like to put it kind of middle of the bag. So with absolutely every piece of kit, you wanna make sure you're pushing the air out. So with this food bag, and you can see how much smaller it actually is. So one of the main features that this bag has is just kind of this outer pocket. And what I like to put out here is fleece, because again, that's something I'm gonna want on the trail. So on top of the fleece, I like to put the Gore-Tex. That way, as soon as it starts raining, I can take my bag off. And literally the first thing I see when I open up the lid is my Gore-Tex. So back to our main compartment, uh, the next thing I'm gonna put in is the lens. And then we're gonna put in our emergency pouch, basically. On the other side, we'll fit in our uh, kind of spare camera pieces. And then rope, I do like to keep at the top just because it kind of varies when you may need it. So that's everything that's gonna go in that main bag. You can see I've got a lens here. That's the one that's gonna be going on my camera. And then I still got my water bottle, uh, some extra, this is the uh, dead cat for the microphone. So that's just gotta stay out for now. I've got the flashlight. Another thing I forgot to mention is I'm also packing a solar panel with me just because when I'm out there, I'm planning to shoot more video than I normally would. And then final thing is the map and axe and tripod, uh, apparently not the final thing. But yeah, that's that's basically it. Yep, that's that's it, that, that is it. So all this stuff goes in other places. So we're gonna close up the main compartment and now we're going on to the lid of the bag. So in the lid is where I would keep my map, 
Uh, also on the lid is where I might throw my Jolly Ranchers or gum for the day, just so that I can get to it easy. But I'm also gonna put them in my headlamp. Depending on what kind of bag you have, I would throw it into like a Ziploc bag or something, just so it's waterproof. I know that this bag is waterproof, but before I go, depending on what the weather conditions are, I might throw this in a, in a plastic bag. Uh, same with the solar panel, just because I don't know. So finally on the outside of the bag is where I'm going to strap the hatchet. On this bag and most bags, that are kind of a similar class to this. You got straps for either trucking poles or things like that. And I just like to slide the ax in and it sits in there nicely. I can tighten up, I can I can tighten up the Velcro on it a little bit so it gets, it's, it's just nicely cinched in there and won't fall out. Then the one liter Nalgene is just gonna go on one of the outside uh, pockets. Uh, just like pretty much every single backpack on the market, it's got the stretchy pockets on the outside that are meant for water bottles. And um, with the tripod, it's just gonna go on the opposite side just to balance that weight. And yeah, that is the bag packed and ready to go. So I hope you guys found something useful or interesting in this video. If you guys are interested in backpacking, interested in getting outdoors, I highly suggest you do it. You don't have to go solo. You don't have to go backpacking. You don't have to like do an overnight or anything like that. You can just throw some lunch in a bag and hike up a mountain if that's what you're into. So if you guys want to see this gear in use, feel free to subscribe. If you guys are willing to hit the like button and show your support for the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video.